What's going on guys? I finally picked up a little bit of metal for the shop. I didn't get all of it, but uh, I got enough to do the front and the back. Uh, on the upper sections, I'm doing it two-piece where to have like the bottom three foot will be like a separate. So I got the upper piece for the front and the back and I got some trim for uh, the doorways and uh, the wall trim that goes around the outer for the, for the lower skirting. And uh, I picked it up on the big truck because the mill that I got this lumber from is only about 12 miles from the place that I got metal from so I just went on up the road and picked it up and uh, I got it out there on top of it I'll wait till tomorrow to get it uh, unloaded I get uh, somebody to come give me a hand get it off of there don't have anything to pick it up with but uh, I'll take you out there and show it to you in a minute but right now we got we got something else going on it's a little more important right now this right here is what we got going on right now it's a little more important so uh, Y'all just uh, hang tight, and I'm going to make y'all hunger here. That way y'all got to go cook something to eat. And uh, I'll take y'all out there and show you the metal. All right, guys, I went ahead and backed on up in the shop here. This is the uh, metal and the trim. This is for the uh, the doors, and this is for the, uh, the little wall trim that I was talking about. And uh, that's for the front and back. No, it doesn't look like much, but that is uh, $1,350 for what you see right there, plus a box of screws. So, we are going to get this off of here and uh, start getting it put up. So, I'll show you a little bit of progress as we get started. Well, guys, this is what we got done today uh, on Saturday. Got all the metal that I had bought put up for the front and back. You can see how I did this trim on the bottom here so that the other piece will slide up under it. And uh, got the doorways trimmed in there. And I didn't put the rest of this on because obviously it'll get damaged when they do the concrete if I was to run it all the way down. But, uh, Starting to look pretty good. It's starting to look like a shop now, a little bit anyway. I'll show you the back back here. There's the back. It actually wasn't that bad to put up, uh, no longer than it was. But uh, this on the end up here, when I get ready to do it, it's going to be another story. I haven't exactly figured out how I'm going to do that as of yet, because that right there in the middle, uh, that piece is like 22 foot long that goes down, that'll come down to that board like the rest of it. And uh, I haven't figured out how to get a piece uh, that long up there without it trying to... Uh, to bend in the middle and collapse on itself or the wind catching it and blow it back over the top of you. Uh, best I can figure is with a man lift and uh, those things are kind of expensive to rent but it's probably what I'm going to have to do either that or uh, hire some guys that's got a scaffolding uh, set up and can do it that way. Uh, I'm going to kind of weigh out and see which way looks like uh, financially would work out better. Uh, I'm thinking the man lift is probably going to cost me six or seven hundred dollars for a one day uh, rental. And if I can find somebody that'll do it for that, you know, and then me kind of give them a hand or whatever, pass them stuff, uh, I'll let them do it. <clears throat> but uh, otherwise, that's what I'll have to do is I have to get a man lift and everything. But uh, anyway, I want to show you guys what it uh, what it's looking like and give y'all an update here. But uh, that's about it for uh, this uh, Saturday. I'll show you the trim here at the top of the doors, how that worked out. Let's see how I got them to, uh, to bend this here or come around the columns there and up top.
anyway, I like, I'm liking the way it's turning out. So, uh, give you guys an update. And until next time, thanks for watching.